Here's the latest on xsox.com. The UK's Competition and Markets Authority has fined GlaxoSmithKline for a pay-for-delay deal made over 10 years ago. How will the decision affect the availability of generics in the future? Hello, I'm Sarah Massey, life science blogger and webinar moderator for xtalks.com, and welcome to this edition of Xtalks Vitals. The agency was formed two years ago, and the $54.4 million fine handed out to the pharma giant was the first pay-for-delay decision the agency has made. The CMA ruled that between 2001 and 2004, GlaxoSmithKline paid generic drug makers more than £50 million to delay the UK launch of the generic version of the company's antidepressant, Serexat. According to the CMA's announcement regarding the fines, sales of Serexat totaled £90 million in 2001. And once the generics hit the market in late 2003, they were priced 70% cheaper compared to the branded version of the drug. The generic drug makers involved in the deal included Generics UK Limited and All Pharma Limited. Regulators in both the UK and the US have been targeting these cases in recent years. In 2013, the European Commission issued a $22 million fine to Johnson & Johnson and Novartis for preventing a generic version of fentanyl, a painkiller used by cancer patients, from hitting the market. While GlaxoSmithKline was the instigator in the deal with the generic drug makers, it's not the only company receiving a fine. The CMA has also issued a 5.8 million pound fine to Generics UK, now owned by Mylan, along with its previous parent company, Merck. Actavis, the spin-off company of All Pharma, was fined 1.5 million pounds. Subscribe to the Xox YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below and visit xox.com for more information on this story and other news stories in the life science industry.